This is my prediction versus the Kings and Pelicans game. So, the Pelicans are without Zion. I know Malik Monk and uh, Kevin Herter are not playing for the Kings. However, the Kings should easily win this game. Even though the Pelicans are 5-0 and this season against the Sacramento Kings, this should be an easy win for the Kings without um without Zion Williamson playing. I'm not going to do a live reaction to this game. I'm going to just enjoy my uh, Friday and watch it, and then I'll give you my thoughts after the game. I think the Pelicans have a good shot of winning, but they're going to need Trey Murphy, or as people call him, TM3, to go off today. He's going to need to be spectacular in order to beat the Kings. Okay, so the game's not over. Um, there's still like five minutes left, but the Pelicans are up 20 points, so I'll... Clearly, I was wrong. I guess I underestimated um, the effect of Malik Monk and Kevin Herter because the stars on the Kings are playing well. You know, Darren Fox has 28. I think Harrison Barnes has like 12. Sabonis has 19. So the two stars, Sabonis and Fox, have shown up. They just really needed Malik Monk. Of course, Keegan Murray didn't go off. He goes off when he plays the Warriors, but he doesn't go off against the Pelicans. Um, Pelicans... Okay, so Trey Murphy didn't even have a big game. He had 12 points. Um, Valanchunas is very underrated, in my opinion. He had 19 points. Brandon Ingram has 22. And there's six minutes left in this game. CJ McCollum, like, especially in in-season tournament games, um, but in big games in the playoffs we saw in Portland all the time, has completely disappeared. He has seven points. Um, head coach decided to... Uh, not play him much which was a smart move which is crazy because he has such a big contract i live in the bay area i'm a golden state warriors fan sacramento kings fans were nowhere to be found until like two years ago um i would say three years ago when they had tyrese halliburton i still think trading him for sabonis um i, I mean i don't i'm not sure if that was the best move we can talk about it in five years when we see how the indiana pacers fare because they do have a stacked roster. Um, if they don't win a championship, we'll just compare it by who had a better career, Fox and um, Sabonis together versus uh, Tyrese. But all I was hearing is, oh, we send you guys home. Oh, you guys are bums. Well, you guys went home two days later. Congratulations. I guess the Sacramento Kings championship is setting the Golden State Warriors home in a play-in tournament, even though we sent them home in an actual playoff series a year before, even though the Golden State Warriors have four championships since 2015. I think how the Pelicans' season goes depends on if Zion Williamson is healthy or not. He, In my opinion, they would have beat the Lakers. Um, I had the Lakers winning that game, don't get me wrong, but in actual live during the game when he was going off, it sucks that he got injured because he was having an amazing game, but Kings are going home.